You ready, Mike? I'm ready. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Um, I've got Mikey here tonight uh, helping me out. Guys, we won our fight. Anybody that watched, uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. I've gotten a ton of messages from you guys. Uh, Vince Michelle defeats Jim Miller. Unanimous decision. Um, we would have loved to get the finish. Uh, I really feel like uh, I wish that Vince would have just stayed with the stand-up because I think we could have beaten him with the stand-up in the third round. But he chose what he chose, and he went in for the takedown. Damn near paid for with a guillotine. But we got out. Got a great performance. And we had a great performance. Um, you know, he was all over us in the first period or first round with his grappling. Uh, he kind of like caught us in a, in a position, which we're going to show you guys tonight, um, going for the calf lock as the round was coming to a close. But uh, other than that, we out grappled him, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, second round, we ended up hitting a nice head kick, got taken down, landed some beautiful elbows, got back up, kicked him in the face, double legged him, Past the guard, um, he put us back in. We ripped out of the rubber guard. Man, I gotta do a breakdown video on that someday. But, uh, you know, we put it on him. Uh, landed a lot of punishment in round two. And then, uh, if you guys didn't see it, you know, third round, we took it to him again. He kind of rallied back, um, getting our back again, sort of, for a second. But we out positioned him, came back up on top and took him down and ended up the fight throwing shots, you know? So we uh, we fight. did really well. It was exciting. Um, short notice. Right? Yeah, short notice, and uh, we just took out one of the best lightweights in lightweight history. Um, has the you know the most wins I think, and the most submission wins, um, or he's tied with Cerrone. So anyway, all right. Enough about us. How about you? We have to teach you guys something. Um, what was Jim Miller going for? What about that calf crank and? What could he have done to do better to submit us? What Jim Miller could have done? Um, we're gonna show you right now. So check it out. Um, I believe he had, yeah, he had left leg. So guys, he has the left hook in. So watch, I place the left hook inside and I bond. See this? So there was a moment where Jim Miller, just walk around here, yeah. and then was flirting around this way because he was trying to set up the guillotine. Because Vince knew the guillotine wasn't there, it wasn't, it wasn't available. Once he got his hand free, we got to here, and then he ended up looking for this leg, which is our calf lock. Now, when Vince drops the hip, which almost everybody eventually does, they try to basically sit to the right butt cheek and try to turn towards your left. Go ahead, start to turn. As he does that, looks like I got a Cheeto going on here. Who ate Cheetos on the mat? Carlos? Cheetos? Only spinach, you Carlos. Who's spinach. dropping Cheetos? I'm in the middle of a video and I got Cheetos on the mat, guys. How are... All right, I'm going to clean that up later. Now watch, guys. Since he dropped his hip, all Jim Miller has to do is left shoulder roll. So as he left shoulder rolls, this is the leg right here that he's looking to pull, okay? Now, the basic calf lock, guys, look. My shin bone is in the back of the calf, okay? And then what happens is when I close this door that is his knee joint, it's going to apply my, my shin in the back of his calf. And some people call it a knee separation, a calf lock, a calf slice, a calf crank, a calf crusher. There's all these different names for it. Um, this is the position. Now, sometimes you have the triangle holding stability. If you want to increase more pressure, you want to place your foot right there and you want to, basically what I'm doing is I'm extending as I pull this down, extend and then go. I'm sorry about no, that, bro. And then you Sorry. notice it hurts. Does it hurt? Yeah. Okay. So you want to go high on the toes. I'm always telling you guys, look, never expose the toes. If the guy can flex his foot, you're, you're going to be fighting a lot of leg muscles. His straightening ability. Go ahead. I can't hold on to that sucker. The way you break the guy down is you bend those toes and you flex the big toe. See the big toe? Flex your foot like that. 
Now look, I squeeze. See how I grab all the toes and I squeeze. Feel what that does? Try to keep your foot flexed. Mm -hmm. Now watch. Oh yeah. See how I bent? I basically, I don't know if you guys can hear the crack. <laughs> I basically squeezed his toes together and bent them. Now go ahead and fight it. Oh yeah. Now I've got one hand and I can get the submission. Now, what Jim, Jim Miller chose? He chose the double grip. Now what Vince did is he took his right foot and posted it against the leg like this. You can move around just for different angles. See how he's posting against here. So as he's trying to pull it, he's relieving pressure. That's what Vince was using in order to relieve pressure and hang on. At the end of the round, Vince threw some nice elbows on the thigh, okay? So right here, this is kind of what Jim Miller was going for. You do have to be very careful if you use what Jim Miller did. Now, Vince didn't try this, but you can reach up and grab an arm bar. So this leg now comes across the head, applying force. And now you guys can see my elbow is stuck. I can't get it out and he's gonna elbow lock me right there. So it doesn't happen with the big Husky guys because usually the big Husky guys, you can't even reach, like try to reach for my arm. But when people are smaller and more Gumby, man, you can really get in there and pull that sucker and he can get me. Be aware of doing that. I don't, I'm not a proponent of it, but if you do do this method, the two-handed method, you basically just try to pull it and break it. And that's what Jim was trying to do. It was the end of the round. He was just trying to put all of his energy into pulling. And because Vince was, was pushing, it, it was a fight and Jim Miller didn't win it. So for the rest of that fight, uh, Vince's uh, calf was fine. He said it didn't even bother him the rest of the fight. The next morning, he had a slight, uh, you know, hurt calf. So there was some damage, but it was not even, I asked him on a scale of one to 10, on 10 being you gotta tap out, and one being you don't even feel it, he said it was a zero. So that means that basically Vince was never ever thinking about tapping. It wasn't even that close. The guillotine was a lot closer in the third round. Okay, back to business. Two-handed method, what do you guys think? Not good. One, Vince is using his other foot for support. Not good. Also, this foot is very annoying when he kicks my hands. When he kicks my hands, it creates complications where I may not, I might even lose this position. He may roll out of this. So we don't want to do this method that Jim Miller used, okay? I know Jim Miller is a badass and I respect him, but we don't want to learn this. Here's what you guys want to learn. If he's doing what Vince was doing, or if he's kicking at my hands, go ahead and just do what Vince was doing. Oh. See how he's going here? All I simply do is this hand doesn't stick my arm between the legs. No, no, no. I go around and I grab the toes and I dominate this foot first. Two methods basically that I'm gonna give you. The short and quick one, this hand controls big toe. I pull it, I turn it, and I go elbow in the butt. And I'm flexing my biceps. Look at this gigantic muscle I have. You might need to get an angle because it's not that big. Okay, boom. you're supposed to laugh, Jake. Boom. Okay, boom, roasted, right here. See that? Now try to kick your leg. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I don't hold it here. Toe is exposed, he will flex on you and kick out like nothing, okay? He'll be kicking like karate, kid. I close the elbow and I cover the big toe and now he tries to hide that one. So he's trying to hide it. You see this? Now watch guys, I whip it up and I grab it, okay? So if he tries to hide and you go, I can't reach it to pull it, I whip my leg. Can you roll over your stomach or get away? See how you can't? Now watch what I do. I whip the leg up and I grab it. Now that I grab it, I'm gonna go inside, I'm sorry, sorry. bro. I'm gonna go inside of my ankle if I need to, and if I don't need to, like on Mikey right here, I'm gonna whip it up, curl all the way to the big toe, remember? Because he's gonna flex. So I squeeze and I bend, and now he's mine. Now, if I'm here, he doesn't have the stomp on his own ankle. Try to move. And now I nice and easy pull it with one leg, or excuse me, one arm, okay? Instead of the two-handed method, 
that leads to him using his right leg to escape or to at least survive, okay? So that's your simple, simple answer. Now here's another good one, okay? If I go here and he goes inside of his ankle or he's kicking my hands, I just grab this one and I swim it into my armpit for an ankle lock style grip. Now this ankle lock style grip is not a submission itself, okay? Just move around so you can see. I, it's not, I'm not gonna ankle lock him, I'm just holding it. So his foot is stuck in my armpit, try to pull it out. And now he's stuck and immobilized. And then again, if he hides his foot, I just whip it up and I go get the big part of the toe, bend them and one hand the sucker, okay? Right there. You can try doing this, but I don't like this because he'll grab my fingers. And when he grabs my fingers, he'll free his leg. Okay, go ahead and free your leg. And then that, boom, look at the danger. You guys see that? I'm caught in the arm bar. That's what Mikey's gonna do to you. Do not do this to Mikey. Mm -hmm. He's gonna grab that hand. He's gonna kick his leg and he's gonna arm bar you. So don't do it this way. Watch how I do it. I have control of his leg. He's trying to move around. See that? Once I get this foot, if I don't wanna use this method, I can swim and I go around. That way, he wants to get that arm bar. He can't get the arm bar. There's no way to get it. I can get his toes and I got him. I know Mikey, that's gotta be tight. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Sitting in that calf lock for so long. Dude, you are yeah. sweating up a storm over here. Yeah, we're gonna okay. get rolls today. Maybe you needed to put out that fire we had yeah. earlier. Okay, so here we go, guys. Look, put the hook in. See it? Face the legs instead of facing the upper body. Okay, hanging on to this side of his body. Okay, here's the drill for you. Here's how you learn how to do this. Okay, my right here. My left hand is gonna go far ankle, okay? My right hand is just to make sure my face doesn't hit the mat. If he moves around and tries to turn and sit or go to my back or whatever, post your hand, roll, and you're in position. Hold the toes, set the grip, go get your calf crank or calf lock, okay? In the drill, I'll have Mikey get back up, go ahead. I'll follow, notice I use this leg, and I'm holding this strong, so he can't kick that leg out, can you? Nope. Yeah, it's tough. See, I'm putting some bind on his leg. If he tries to go to my back or roll or whatever, post, roll, and I'm back into position, okay? Back into position. I can pull it up or whatever, or we can play with this game. If I want to backward roll with the drill, I can backward roll, and I'm in position, okay? A lot of people call this the truck. Okay, we're trucking. He moves around, whichever way you wanna go. Say he sits to take my back. Yeah, like that. I hit the roll and we're in position. Never allowing him to kick out, okay? He can't kick. I mean, he tries to kick out. I've got a triangle on his leg. I can use the lockdown if I choose. Never do this. If you guys bring this over and you try to do something like this, he's gonna resist you and he's gonna kick out. And now your leg's stuck in the middle and knee bar Mike knows exactly what that is. It's knee bar city. Knee bar so, city. So I'm gonna take you down that road. So far ankle drill, roll into it. Always face the legs when you roll. Most people, when they first start, they make this huge mistake. They go here, you know, this is, again, guys, look at far hand, grab that ankle. If you grab with this hand, you'll get confused. When he sits, you'll forget and you'll hit your face and you'll go this way as he rotates. He can rotate right here. And sure, it's possible for me to still go to his back, but if he hip escapes instead, he's gonna end up passing your guard and smashing you and turn into you, okay? So the way you stop from making that mistake, which is a very common thing because you wanna face this way for the choke. You wanna do this. You have to remember, turn this way and I control this side of his body. Boom, grab that ankle. You could be in here too. This would work, this would work. All of this works. If I hung here, this is good too. If he ever tries to sit and go to my back, comes the hand, roll, and we're in position. Banana splits here, twister's coming, or if I was on that ankle, I'm already ready for the calf lock. He's trying to kick and move around. Grab that toe, swim it into the armpit. I've got it, he's trying to kick out. Know where to go. Now he's just gotta keep that foot away from me. He might grab my foot. He might be trying to give you problems. Oh, you forgot about yours. Can you keep that straight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, try to. 
oh, I got those toes. And I bend it down and get the sub. Okay, always cover the toes. That's it. All right. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, we, uh, we won. What else yeah. can I say? I'm so happy right now. I'm very proud because this fight, guys, I gotta be honest with you, it obviously put pressure on me. We had like less than two weeks notice. We're fighting one of the best submission grapplers in the lightweight division in UFC history. Has more submission wins than anybody else in the lightweight division. Um, think about it, like all the pressure's on me. I'm the grappling coach. If Vince doesn't perform, what are they gonna say about me? Now sure, I could always say, oh, Jim Miller, he's a black belt, he's so good, and he is. I could always fall back on that. Well, Vince is only a brown belt. Uh, Jim Miller's a, one of the best black belts ever. I could always sit in that little spot of safety, right? So that my ego doesn't get smashed and crushed. Well, guess what, guys? The best thing happened for me was I said, you know what? We're fighting one of the best guys. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna work with my guy, not on so much offense for grappling. We're gonna work on our defense. We're gonna make sure we go over guillotines, arm bars, rear naked chokes, okay? Try, even triangle chokes, uh, going over the back control, how to escape the back. We dealt with the truck. I'm so glad. Now, it didn't turn out exactly with all the variations we worked on back behind the scenes, but I'm so glad we just touched, we touched on it because it made Vince feel a little bit more comfortable in that position. And that's what it takes to beat the best, guys. Because once he got tired, then all of our grappling, which is more of a wrestling, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, with an MMA flavor, all came in. We were a much better grappler when it came to MMA. We struck in the positions, and Jim Miller didn't. He was more or less just playing straight up Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, we outgrappled him in the end. Yeah. So. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for all your support. And uh, what else can I say? That's it. I'll be back more with more great stuff. We're out.